This is for Year 12 Specialist. It comes out of 10 C question number 12. Two cars, car A and car B, are moving with constant acceleration, but it may not be the same acceleration. But each of them are moving with constant acceleration. They're travelling in the same direction along the same parallel lines of a divided road, so they can't run into each other. When A passes B, the speeds are 64, and 48 kilometers per hour respectively. Okay, so 64 divided by 3.6 is 160 over 9, and 48 divided by 3.6 is 40 over 3. Three minutes later, so 180 seconds, B passes A. So, if at the start A passes B, they're at the same location, and if three minutes later B passes A, they're at the same location. So both cars have travelled the same distance in those three minutes. And it was travelling at 96, which is 80 on three. Okay, so if I consider car A over 180 seconds, and I consider car B over 180 seconds. Car A was travelling at 160 on 9 first and it travelled to a particular speed and its velocity was increasing at that particular rate. Car B started travelling and it was travelling at 48 so that's 40 on 3 and it caught up so it must have been traveling faster than car a at 180 but what i do know was at time zero they're at the same place and at time 180 they're at the same place so those areas are the same because the area under the velocity time curve is the same so I know that it travelled uh, three minutes later B past A travelling at 96 so B was travelling at 80 on 3 okay so since this is area I'm going to use the trapezium rule and in B's case it's going to be the distance travel will be a half a plus B, so 40 on 3, plus 80 on 3, times 180. So they travelled 3, 6, 100 metres, so 3,600 metres. That's how far they travelled. Uh, the distance travelled by A and B at this instance, so that's the distance and the speed of a okay so if i call the speed of a x then i know that 3600 zero, zero should equal a half 160 on 9 plus x times 180 therefore x equals so the done that on the class pad i get 200 on 9 meters per second or 80 kilometers per hour since that's um, 96, then I like 80 because it's less. Okay, that's part A done. Part B, the instant at which both are moving at the same speed and the distance between them at the time. So what I would like to do is I'd like to find when V of A equals V of B and then find each position and minus one from the other. So I've got a little equation here about the velocity against time. So I can get an equation for each of these. Now I know that that's my y-intercept so v of a should equal 160 on 9 plus rise over run. I know that is 200 on 9 
So 200 minus 160 on 9 on 180x and V of B should be 40 on 3 plus its gradient will be 80 on 3 minus 40 on 3. So 80 minus 40 on 3 on 180x. Okay, so using my calculator to simplify those um, gradients. So the acceleration of A is 2 on 81 metres per second, and the acceleration on B is 2 on 27 metres per second. So I want to find the time. The time that they are equal together will be when this equals this, and I'll solve that on the calculator. And my calculator tells me when I set these two velocities together, they will have the same velocity at 90 seconds. Now, what I need to find out is at 90 seconds, how far had car A travelled? And at 90 seconds, how far had car B travelled? Now, just to show that I can do it differently, for this one I'm going to do the integral from 0 to 90. I know the equation of that line because it's this. So it should be 160 on 9 plus 2 on 81 x dx. And that will be the distance that A has travelled. And the distance that B has travelled is 0 to 90 of this equation, which is 40 on 3 plus 2 on 27 x. And I'm going to subtract the difference between those distances. And I can see that car A has travelled 1700 and B has travelled 1500. So the distance between the two cars is 200 metres and that will be at 90 seconds. And that's when both cars are travelling at the same speed, but obviously in different locations.